All right, let's take a look at this. Um, let's go to the indicator and the strategy. Uh, we have the zone indicator and the zone strategy right next to each other. So what we've been talking about, if you want to look at our previous videos, is let me put them together here real quick. So you can, like I said on the last video and the previous videos, you can run these together or separately if you want. Uh, we have momentum that came into the market with our momentum indicator. And you can turn your, you can trade the zone indicator by itself or the zone uh, strategy by itself. Or what you could do is you can do a combo of both, meaning you can have the indicator, zone indicator, run over top of the strategy and only have the strategy take trades inside the zone and the indicator show the arrows right here outside the zone if you have any WPT. So you can do them both on top of each other or if you don't like running strategies, you can run the zone indicator by itself. So these guys here, they are next to each other right now. And you can see when we fired an arrow, when you fire an arrow on your indicator, that's exactly when you're going to get an arrow on the strategy. So they match up perfectly. Whatever zones that you put in, and I have the zones already put in for momentum trading for you. So when the momentum chart turns six green or six red, you can literally just turn this on and everything is preset for you already. But you can put in your stops, your targets, and your trail how you want it to do that. All right, so this was running live when this is running live. So this is a fill. The live fill in this was at 40, 21, and 3 quarters. And the arrow, once it printed at this level, you're probably going to get the fill at the high of this bar. And it says 21 and 3 quarters. Uh, manually doing it, you're probably around a couple ticks off. You're probably at 22 or 22 and a quarter. So if you manually do it, uh, you're around two ticks behind on the average behind the strategy doing it. So, uh, but you can do this. You can do this with the strategy. They'll, you'll, they'll get you in a little bit sooner. So it'll get you in about two ticks, sometimes three ticks. So right now I got four contracts long on the ES. Um, after the first target hits, what happens is this. After the first target hits, then your break even, uh, uh, break even goes break even plus one right there. When the second target hits, your break even goes to the first target. So now all these contracts will get, the last two contracts will get taken off at 20 and 40, 26 and three quarters. If not, it's going to continue to breathe and go to the next higher level to reach our third target. After the second target hits, I mean the third target hits, then it will ratchet up into the second target, but the third target hasn't hit. So it still has a resting trailing stop right there at 40, 26 and 3 quarters. Now what it will do, since it took off two contracts, it will never expose you more than four contracts at a time. So what it's going to do is, it, we have a WPT that just formed, if an arrow forms here, it's going to pull us back in to more contracts because that's the four contracts it's going to, that we want to keep long. So what it does, it scales risk out on the way up. We went four contracts long. It took one out. It took another out. So right now, it's still long two contracts. We got long at 40, 21, and 3 quarters. It's sitting at 43, 40, uh, 40, 34, and 3 quarters. So... If it's going to pull us in, and then if it pulls us in, and then it will let us go to the next, and it will go to more contracts. Now, you can see that you have an arrow here, an arrow just fired, and I have the alert in the background. Alert will fire. You can change the alert. That's just the default alert it comes with. You can change the alert to whatever you want to change it to. Um, you can change the alert to anything, but it will alert you when an arrow fires with the WPT on the indicator. And you can change it to a beeping sound. I like the beeping sound the best, but I know I know some of you guys, like we went over before, change the wave sound to um, you know bullseyes. I know some of you like bullseyes when you get a buy signal, and then some of you like uh, the tanking sound of a submarine sound if it's going down for a sell signal. So you guys can do that as far as that goes, uh, whatever you want to do. But that's how you work the strategy and zone indicator together. Uh, this will hold long until you get down to. Uh, 40, 26, and 3 quarters, or 27, 
And if it gets down here, watch. Let me see if I can get it live here. And it'll stop us out on this live long trade. Uh, one second. Uh, it, see if it holds in. If not, it will stop us out at 4027 on all the contracts from 4021 and three quarters. Now, like I said, you can adjust the stops if you want. You can adjust the profit targets if you want. I got everything preset for you. So when the momentum chart, this, this all started with the momentum chart turning uh, all six green, all six red. So it all started right here. When you turn this, we turned all six green right there. You can turn the strategy on. This is what's neat about the program. Uh, the hardest part about trading is trading only vertical markets, not trading chop. This allows you to do this. Look how it caught the WPT right at the low. Caught it right there. Right there it is. The momentum chart caught it, and then you know we it just went long again as you can tell. Um, now see it added two contracts. So now what it did? Get this back off here. The momentum chart started this whole thing. That started everything. So what it's going to do? It's going to keep adding add contracts that it scaled out until we get stopped out at this forty twenty six. Now, if it comes down to 40, 26, and three quarters, it will take all four contracts and stop itself out because we don't want to lose the gains that we already gained. All right, so that's how it works with the indicator and strategy together. The key is this, though. Trade vertical markets. This is where it went vertical. That's when it went vertical right there. That's when it started to get vertical. So as you can see, it stopped everything out. All contracts are now out. Because after the first target, second target, it brings it to the first target. After the third target up here, it's third, brings it to the second. And they'll add contracts until you get stopped. On big days, they'll just keep going up. So we had a big day with the Fed yesterday, as you can tell, and it just kept hitting all targets. It just hit target after target after target. I mean, it's crazy. Target after target. It just kept trailing targets. It was awesome. And so because the market had what? Yesterday, the market had momentum. Because all these turn six red at the same time and six green at the same time. So then you can turn your strategy on and let it execute this for you automatically with your automatic stops, automatic targets you put in, automatic trail. That's the advantage of the new software is now we have a strategy to go with the indicator. But this momentum chart sets everything up right here. It sets everything up. If I get six green and six red, that tells me this market has a high probability chance of doing what? going vertical, right? If I have red on top and green like this, what does that tell you on the momentum chart? Do you really want to turn your strategy on in this? Absolutely not. Why? Because the market is doing what? It's chopping. That's a chop phase. It's where traders tend to fail on, on the MAC moving averages and the moving average convergence divergence and divergence. I mean, 99.9% .9 of all the indicators to me are worthless, absolutely worthless. Because they're all lagging. You cannot trade lagging indicators. You need to know when the momentum's coming in, right? And this took 30 years to develop on something sophisticated like this to let the algo down. I mean, 30 years of, of all these indicators, all these strategies. Now I found a way to, hey, say, hey, this is a high probability chance of the market going vertical. And then that's where you trade these snapbacks. Because what a vertical market is, is strictly a snapback. You let the market go vertical. My algo picks it up. You get that rubber band snapback, like we've always done since we opened the room. I may just made it easy now for you to see where these things, it's an ABC pattern long. All right, that's how you trade vertical markets. Now you can see over here, they, we're out. The strategy's out. Now what it will do is, if I get six red over here, if I start printing six reds, so you can just turn your strategy off now. You can literally turn it off by double clicking on enable, disable, or turn it off manually. And turn off the strategy because there's no trades. Because look where we're at. We're below my lower zone. And are there any red dots that's forming? No. The momentum is dissipated to the upside. So now we are too close to below. So what do I want? I see red ATR dots printing here. So what do I want on my momentum chart? I want to see what? I want to see six red dots that print together like this. So if I get six red dots, uh, green dots that print together, only six red dots that print together, then you turn the strategy on and let it go to work. So if I'm on six red, I want to see six red that come together like this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And my algo will pick that up. 
which it did yesterday, and it got short right here at the high. All right, if I see six green all coming together, here's six green. The algo picked this up perfectly yesterday. So I see six green together. There they are where I put this little vertical line, and this six comes together. In fact, what I'm doing on the next update for you guys, I'm having this vertical bar come in on the indicator. And then you can dictate with the strategy. Say, hey, I only want this strategy to go long or short when vertical markets happen. I'm actually doing that now on the next update for you members where the it will show a big bar. It's going to be a big, if it's green, it'll be a green bar like this, vertical bar. Or if it's red, you can manually see it now easy. Just look for six red dots or six green. But it's going to look like this. It's going to have a big bar when they all turn six. That tells you to take the first WPT, optic color speed bar, to catch the wrongly positioned traders right at this low, which it did. Or if it turns six red, you'll get a bar that forms like this in the indicator. It tells you to turn the strategy on and let it take the first retracement short. Oops, sorry. So then it'll form like that, and the strategy will know to only take the first cell setup. So you can see this manually really nice that we have set up now for you, for all you guys and gals. Really easy to see. So that's when you want to turn the strategy on, when that happens. All right? Try to catch this WPT, caught that big long, and this caught that short right there as far as that goes. So you can see the difference in a buy and sell. Buy... You want green dots with optic color speed bars, red speed bars. Cells, you want red with optic color green speed bars. And look how accurate that is. Then if you don't want to manually enter your trades, you can uh, just turn on your strategy and let your strategy do the work. So once that's done, you can let the strategy over here do its work. So the strategy, you know, what we're waiting for is we're waiting for what? We are waiting for uh, to turn all six red again. Oops, right here. We want this to turn red. Speed dots to turn red. See, it's all green still. So we haven't done that yet. So once it turns red, start getting some red dots at print. Then we can look for retracements. And then we're going to try to sell manually up into this zone. We're going to try to sell in the zone or turn on the strategy and let the strategy turn into the zone there also. There's an audible alert for that, Derek. Yep. There's an audible alert. Uh, when they turn all green and all turn red for the momentum, correct. All right, and there'll be a big vertical line also. Yep, it's it's pretty awesome. The, the, where traders fail, they trade chop. You don't trade retracements in chop, and that's where traders tend to fail over and over again. All these indicators, I mean, all these indicators and all these different platforms, they they're they're free for a reason. They all work once, but they, they're lagging. You know, we're trying to get involved in vertical markets. We don't get involved in CHOP. And if you use a stochastic, if you use by itself, or use the MAC, or if you use just divergence, all this other stuff, you know, retracements, they don't work in CHOP. The only thing that works in CHOP that I've found over the last 30 years is market profile. You sell HVA, you buy LVA on the first and second test. If you can't do that, you really shouldn't be trading CHOP. You should wait for vertical markets. So what we'll do here, we'll wait for a vertical market, we'll wait for a vertical market to form, and then we'll try to get uh, into this retracement.